I've got a question for the rest of the world. Remember, I'm an American. I have a limited perspective. I have traveled the world, but I still can't know most things about the rest of the world. But through this YouTube channel, I can help myself a little bit to raise my IQ. So here's my question. What parts of the world was it never taboo for an interracial couple to marry and have children. Now, let me be very specifically, and this is more so in the American context. I wanna be very specific in this. I mean, one person is of African descent, especially predominantly African descent, and the other person is predominantly European descent. The average white person in the United States and the average black person in the United States. That's the vision I have. See, only now it's okay. People don't really have a problem with it anymore, right? But even, even when I was a kid, it was still kind of taboo on TV shows. Like, often that became the topic. If there was a black person and a white person that started dating or whatever, that was like, oh, am I actually seeing that on TV? That's, that's happening? Oh, that, we, that's okay now? That's not, I thought that was like against the rule or something. So even in my own childhood, it was still kind of, you would notice it because often, again, that was the point of the TV show or the movie or whatever. I mean, even not that long ago when I was in college, there was an Ashton Kutcher movie. Guess who? He's white, he's marrying a black girl. And that's the whole concept of the movie. So that's where America is. We're in the aftermath of all that. I mean, I was born in 1981. I was, I, it wasn't until about the year I was born that you could be black and not be discriminated against as harshly as you would have been before that here in the United States. But definitely, if you were a black man to date a white woman or marry a white woman, or even the reverse, to be a white man who married a black woman, especially in the, in the South, but I'm sure still in most parts of the United States, it still was taboo. We've got quite a history, as we all know, here in the United States, and I get it that there's no African American in the United States right now that if they took a DNA test, it'd show 100% African. There's not one. If they, if they existed, they would have already reached out to me because I've asked, hey, are you out there somewhere? No, because African-American people, and they've confirmed this themselves with me, black Americans have confirmed with me, when they take a DNA test, it's somewhere between two-thirds and three-quarters African descent, and the rest typically being European. So with that being said, what that's implying is obviously, a while back, and I'm not naive to think, oh yeah, they were, they were intermarried. No, I know, I understand what happened. I understand why that is. Slave owners, I understand all that. But considering that history and how tragic and dark that all that is, my question is this, in the rest of the world, in the rest of the history of the world, were there certain parts of the world where there were people who were European descent, white people, and there were people who were black, African descent and they could get married and have families and nobody cared. No one pointed it out. See, I, I, the reason I'm asking that is because it seems for the most part, our nationalities tend to ultimately limit races marrying each other. Now, I know that there are definitely exceptions to that. I mean, we could, I mean, it, the easiest exception I can think of is Puerto Rico. Because I, and I love talking, uh, making videos, asking Puerto Ricans questions. Uh, ultimately, I see them as a tri-racial group of people. African, Native American, European. It's somewhat in that mix. There's a good chance they're gonna be a little bit, at least of all three of those things. So Puerto Rican would be an exception to the rule. But what about China? I'm pretty sure, well, okay. With the, I, here I just said European descent, and Asian people are not European descent, but, and they're not considered white, at least not here in the United States, they're considered Asian. So it's all arbitrary, I get that. But my point is, here in the United States, it's only recently, is it truly flat out okay for a black man and a white man to be married and have kids, or a black man and a white woman to be married and have kids, and it's just not a deal. At least when, where I'm in Tennessee, it's normal. Nobody cares. But if this were 30 years ago, if this were 50 years ago, and the further you go back in time, not only does it become more taboo, but it becomes basically illegal. 
it, to, to some degree where you would basically just have to move out of state, maybe move to a different country, move somewhere else because people, society would not accept you as you were simply because you married a person of a different race. And there's plenty of double standards in the United States because there was always so much focus on European and African. But what there wasn't as much of a focus on so much was Native American and European. Somehow people just overlooked that. And instead, modern day, white Americans are taking DNA tests because they believe that their great grandmother was half Cherokee or Choctaw or whatever. And then they're disappointed to find out they weren't because they wanted that glory of being able to say, I'm part Native American. I'm part of the victim, not simply the oppressor. And there's a sense of pride that comes with that. So it, it sort of feels like since there was the Trail of Tears, there's always been this sense of pride. Well, if you can, if you can be of Native American descent, then that's something to be proud of. So, but while that same thought was going on, it still wasn't okay for black and white people to intermarry. It still wasn't okay, but it was if they were Native American, even though that clearly is different race as we perceive race to exist. Meanwhile, south of the border in Mexico, what's happening? There is a people, group of people who are largely, roughly half Native American and half European, two different races. And that becomes a group of people to where here in the United States, now we acknowledge that, that if you're Mexican, we don't even care if you actually were born in Mexico or not. The fact that you have that genetic background makes you Mexican. We identify you in that way. So are there parts of the world where it was always overlooked and never a, a big deal in any way to anyone and no one ever cared that someone of African descent and someone of European descent intermarried. And I say those extremes because as far as skin color goes, that's the furthest extremes, especially if we're talking to someone who's from England. I mean, I would think of someone with fair skin or maybe Sweden having the blonde hair, lighter features with someone who has the darkest features. I mean, those are the extremes as compared to say someone who is Asian marrying someone who is from India, like someone from Japan marrying someone from India. There's less of an extreme there. So in the history of the world, has there been a place that's always existed where no one cared that people of European descent were intermarrying with people of African descent? Your comments belong right here.